Hi, I'm Rose Geringer, Ratings Manager at Dr. Vince Clinical Research. Human abuse potential studies are conducted to evaluate the subjective effects of CNS active investigational drugs that may have stimulant, depressant, sedative, or hallucinogenic properties, and therefore may be at risk for abuse. These studies rely on subjective ratings from recreational drug users who are experienced with the drug class of interest. For example, sedative users would be enrolled in a study of an investigational new drug that's associated with somnolence or feeling sleepy. In these studies, subjects are asked to rate the effects of the investigational drug in addition to the positive control, for example, benzodiazepine, and a placebo across multiple time points. The study sponsor must select assessments that measure the effects over time while considering the frequency of responses to ensure validity without inducing rater fatigue. Assessments generally include visual analog scales to capture drug effects experienced and may also include cognitive and or psychomotor tests. Several factors can influence the volunteer's subjective ratings, including their prior drug use experience, their past participation in other HAP studies, as well as their anticipation or expectation of drug effects. Additionally, the financial incentives of qualifying for and completing the trial may influence their ratings. Therefore, subject training needs to be thorough with plenty of time to practice the assessments using various scenarios. Subjects must be encouraged to ask questions during training because no coaching by research site staff is allowed while study data is being collected. Accurate data collection also relies on staff being experienced in this research model. Keeping the test environment free of distractions is important so subjects can give their full attention to the assessments. Additionally, staff must be well-trained for each protocol's design and methodology to ensure procedural consistency. Standardized prompts given by staff before each assessment remind subjects to rate drug effects honestly and accurately. Additionally, staff and between subject interactions must be limited to avoid any unwanted influence on the subject's ratings.